Johnny, um, I have a problem. I am not a Sidney Crosby fan. I kind of find him to be a bit overhyped. My question to you, the greatest captain in all of hockey does not play in Pittsburgh. He's sitting right in front of us, folks. Mike. Aren't you wearing an 87 jersey? That is not for him. That's my birth year, I promise. Oh, okay. All right. I was wondering. I was wondering. I promise. My question for you is how does it feel to know that you have more Stanley Cups than the supposed Michael Jordan of hockey? You know what? It's, it's really uh, it's unfair to sit here and, and take any sort of credit like that. I mean, I was, I've, I've been lucky to be a part of a, a great team. Uh, surrounded by great guys ever since I came into Chicago and, and you look um, throughout our locker room I mean we got guys like Sharpie, Rosie and you want to go down the list uh, Duncan and, and Brent and even Marion Hosa and, and even some of our younger guys have matured and, and a lot of people ask me the difference what I, the difference I think between the team in, in 2010 and this year and I think this year is Everyone understood the concept of buying into the team game and, and doing whatever it took to win. And I think that's why we had a, a great regular season. And that's why we had all that success in the playoffs. And we had some, some tough moments being down 3-1 to Detroit. You know, it doesn't look so good. Same thing, 2-1 to, to Boston. Uh, but guys never gave up. And that, that doesn't just come from one guy. And it's easy to... Uh, give someone like myself the credit because I have a C on my sweater, but, but um, we have a lot of leaders in that locker room and, and every day it makes my job easier and in a way it makes me look good, to be honest with you. So. <clears throat>